Houston at Cincinnati. I feel like you, this is to me like the Cowboys and the Eagles were like, it feels a little square to you. You can't quite get there. You're going to get information that the wise guys are liking it for some reason. Like this is where my tomfoolery and my sort of lack of vision might actually play to our benefit. Yeah, I just get scared off of games I perceive as coin flip games. And um, I, I do. I try my best to avoid those type of games. Like that Eagles game, it was a winner, but at the end of the day, it was a coin flip. It came down to a two-pointer, oh, yeah. and we were on the right side of that two-pointer. Um, you know, that Houston and uh, Bucks game, total coin flip game. Dude. And I couldn't avoid it because the number just didn't make sense. And we got lucky where it, may, it worked out for us because – I just didn't get why it was two and a half. It was like everyone in the world was betting Houston. All the money was coming on Houston, but the number went from three on the Bucks down to two and a half. So those are things I'm looking for where it's like, if I don't understand a game, I don't trust a number, and I think it's a coin flip game, but the number reverse moves, and it's moving towards what I think is going to happen, which is obviously the Bucks covering. It's like, okay, that gives me confidence. But on the flip side, like that Jets game, we I told you, like I did not like how I was just sitting at three and a half when – when there's a game yeah. like that and it's a public dog and it's a prime time public dog, those are things you look for. So um, it is tough. We do a show like here on Tuesday, just like the Jets last week. We did the show Tuesday. So I already had been betting it since Sunday night. Bet it Tuesday. Bet it again Wednesday. Bet it again Thursday. Bet it Friday. Saturday, started losing confidence. Me and you talk Sunday morning. I'm just like, I fucking hate this Jets pick. What are we going to do? I'm already heavily invested in it. I promoted on multiple different shows we did. So um yeah th- that's the fear for me chad it's like this week it, like i know we said last week was tough this week there's a couple lines that really jump out where it's like that that feels too good to be true and that's what this browns number feels like like six like you just said way too many points this defense to be getting so um definitely a weird line let me have no fear enough for both of us houston <laughs> houston at cincy cincy was a seven point favorite it's down to six and a half uh Bets are coming in on Cincy. Money's coming in on Houston. Uh, look, Joe Burrow right now is nine to one to win MVP after the Sunday night game. When October began, he was 50 to one. Meanwhile, CJ Stroud is having coming off the best game for a rookie quarterback in history. Cincy's defense is actually pretty middle of the road, just top five against the rush. CJ Stroud is very good under pressure. And that's because he doesn't feel the pressure because he gets the ball away in two seconds, literally two seconds, which is just behind Joe Burrow and Tua for quickest release in the NFL. I don't have a strong opinion on this one. If I, if I had been smart, I would have played Houston a plus seven. I didn't. Doesn't feel like a contest play to me. Uh, I'm on the other side right now. I love Bengals. I love Bengals in this spot. Great. Um, you're you're getting to fade a rookie off a historical performance. I know he's cool headed, like he's not gonna let his head get too big from it. But it's gonna be a big difference going at home, throwing up, up throwing against air. Now he's going on the road to Cincy, playing against a legit AFC contender. That's the reason this number's so big. That's why, I like, I had a couple of people messaging me he's like, "Why aren't you guys talking about Houston at the seven? I just didn't want anyone to bet it. I just I thought that was a weird number in the first place. Even before the Bengals game, I thought to myself, that's just a weird number. They're hanging out there that you can grab Houston before this game's even played a plus seven. I mean, if the Bengals say they had lost that game, what's this drop to? Four and a half, most likely? Like it just would have been a total overreaction by the public. And it feels like they're reacting on Houston right now. Just uh the fact that they're just blindly betting this number at what it's at. The, the question right now is what what is what, what is the difference between CJ at home than on the road, right? We've seen the splits. I think anyone could go look at the splits. He's a totally different quarterback at home than on the road. Um, you know, the previous week, before last week, they lost to the Panthers 13-15 on the road, right? Struggled, to, struggled on the road. Yep, yep. Uh, let's go two weeks before that. He played in Atlanta. Remember how bad this Atlanta secondary is? This Atlanta secondary has given up all these yards of Will Levis. Just gave up a ton of yards. The Dobbs, they lost 19 to 21 to Atlanta on the road. And he just had a bad game as well. Because why? Because he struggled in the red zone. So I, I believe he'll be able to move the ball, like you said, up and down the field on Cincy. But 
when they get in the red zone, that's that's what Cincy's really good at this year. And um, yeah, some of those early numbers on their defensive uh, front. They were bad the first three, four weeks defensively, the Cincy team. So um, those numbers do make sense that they don't project out as a great defense right now. But have can't we all say we've seen something different than these last couple of weeks? I mean, the way yeah. they played against the 49ers, the way they played against Josh Allen. I mean, Josh Allen, he, you could say he had a bad game that game. I thought he played really well. I just thought since he kept taking away what he wanted to do, which is they took away Diggs. So, um, yeah, here we go. Another great stat from our guy, Evan Stroud, 9.3 yards. Uh, per attempt at home he's 6.9 on the road so that's that's a pretty big drop off on the yards he's getting through the air passing so um not going to be suckered into this one like the, I got my first glance was like take Houston that's a huge number too big I, I'm gonna go with the Bengals and I'll back him at six and a half here you know what Simon says six and a half Bengals oh no wow yeah, I, was, I, I can't even believe it did it because I wasn't even gonna do that but I, I just I'm feeling confident about this one where Dude. it's just big splits I'm so glad you said that because in my notes, when I was researching the game yesterday, like I couldn't like, and it was seven, I couldn't get a sense of where the inflation was. And I'm like, I think it's Houston, but I'm not quite sure. And like, <laughs> cause you had to so much like positivity from both sides. Yeah. It's hard. So you're bringing clarity right now and you're giving me comfort to bet on the team that we think is better. And is really playing like one of the two or three best teams in the AFC, along with the Ravens and the Chiefs, um, to bet on them as a near touchdown favorite. And we're getting the half point difference. So you're calling it. You're putting your your credibility behind it, your authority, <laughs> your genius. I fucking love that you just made this, Simon Says. I did not see this coming. Me Didn't either. see it. Love this, Simon. Oh, I love when there's magic like that. Ha, ha, ha.